Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorr and in today's topic we are exploring into something unknown, something unheard of in the MTI community and that is an ENFP's dark side. And I'm not here to talk about the negative qualities of an ENFP. You've got that in other videos. I'm not here to talk about the negative. I'm here to talk about something that we all have. We all have a dark side as well as a light side. We have things that we tend to be aware of. And then we have things, if we turn the moon around 180 degrees, we have the dark side of the moon, the dark side of the ENFP. And what is there? What is there in an ENFP? That isn't in other types. Before I get started on this, have you considered going down to my Patreon page in the link down below? If you do, you can subscribe, you can be a part of our project, you can become a supporter, and you can uh, be one of the first, as soon as we're done with this, get be a part of our uh, certification process, learning about Neo Jungian theory just as we are using it in the Neo Jungian Academy. Okay, let's get started here. ENFPs and the dark side, what is this? I'm here to say to you that an ENFP uses introverted intuition and extroverted feeling and that they have, unlike the INFJ for example, a dark intuition, a dark introverted intuition and a dark extroverted feeling. And this dark introverted intuition is highly fascinating because it explains something interesting that a lot of people are missing. A lot of people have come to mistype as INFJ because they are so preoccupied with their dark side of themselves. Looking at your faults, your flaws, your bigger inconvenient things about yourself, it's so easy to get lost on those aspects and then mistyping as an INFJ is a natural thing to do. The ENFP has a dark INFJ side, and the dark not in the sense of evil, but the dark in the side of something important and something interesting about you, but also something that is kind of scary and uncomfortable and sometimes a little, sometimes a little hard to deal with. We all have things in us that can be hard to understand, hard to explain, hard to fully comprehend and fully, to fully use in our real life. The ENFP is always experiencing this dark side and you're often the experience of this dark side is an experience of a kind of dark vision. ENFPs are constantly positioning themselves towards, relative towards a dark vision. A dark vision, a dark scenario that you have imagined, perhaps a breakup, perhaps somebody doing something horrible happening to one of your friends, perhaps something difficult happening in your career. Often we can have these scenarios we are juggling in our head, these dark scenarios that we are trying to avoid. And the ENFP can get caught up with trying to understand these dark scenarios. Often, kind of for an ENFP, uh, intuitive introversion is something you jump into. Some darkness that you are jumping into, something complex and unexplained that you are deciding to investigate. And generally the best way for an ENFP to deal with this darkness is through investigation and exploration. To kind of look for positive threads and patterns you can find no matter how dark the situation looks, no matter how, the, how inconvenient or troubling the future seems to be. To be able to look for possibilities in your life, positive strands of hope that you can grab towards. And often this is the true sign of uh, growth for an ENFP. Often the dark side brings up things in us that we have to deal with, things we have to handle, because the dark side is always going to be there, and no matter if we talk about it or not. The problem can be either ignoring this darkness and pretending it isn't there, and it can also be to hyper-focus on this dark side and to get lost there, and to forget about the light, to forget about what you want, what you dream of, what you need to do to get forward. Because we are all seeking to move forward through this process. And sometimes the dark can kind of make us lose our way. Now, an ENFP in the dark side, what they tend to do is, they tend to rely a lot on scrying. And scrying is kind of like taking up a crystal ball in a sense and kind of looking into and asking questions and running scenarios and testing scenarios out on other people. What can I find around me that can, can confirm or deny the scenario that I've seen? What is it other people can tell me? What can I see? What can I envision? Uh, 
if I try to look inwards, if I try to look into myself, if I try to use my intuitive introverted function. And because the ENFP is a dark INFJ, the things they find will always be of an unsettling nature, of the nature of something that brings up anxiety and worry and concern. This is because it's an introverted function for you and as an extrovert, introverted things tend to be the key to finding anxieties and worries and issues that we have to deal with. In many ways the ENFP is at the point of uh, trying to understand and make sense of and bridge these experiences but the only way to truly bridge and resolve it is through extroversion. When you find an, an, something that brings up an anxiety you can't run from it as an ENFP. You have to rise. You have to actually uh, use your extrovert intuition to kind of explore, investigate, seek and find patterns that can take you forward. Or that's if you don't that's when you can get risk getting stuck. When you're stuck uh, what kind of happens is uh, usually nothing at all. Uh, you can find yourself kind of um, in this rut uh, you can find yourself in this experience of kind of being in the dark, kind of feeling in the dark, kind of feeling a little lost, kind of feeling like I don't know where I'm going. And sometimes the dark can be a gateway to the bad things. It can, the anxiety and the worries and the stress can take a negative grip on you. It can cause you to fall into bad or problematic behaviors. So that's something to always to watch out for. Uh, to watch out for falling in the grip of sensing introversion and hiding usually in the past. An ENFP sees the past as their escape route in times like this. If they aren't ready to rise, uh, they will often uh, fall and dip into sensing introversion and that's usually the past, the, the roots, your, uh, the things that make you feel safe. Um, if you are kind of torn between this, torn between holding on to your past and what you feel in life that are your roots, they're your most reliable things, and what you see as possibilities that you could reach for that might lead you somewhere good, and between the dark future that you are really seeking to avoid, that scary scenario that you have imagined or that you see might happen, uh, then you really have to kind of find a way to kind of bridge these things bridge these three aspects. You have to kind of find a way to uh, look for and to believe in and build up trust for positive patterns, that there is uh, change that could lead to something good. You have to start looking for change that can lead somewhere good. And you can start simple, you don't have to take it all at once. You can begin with finding one possibility and then another and then another and then another. And Somewhere in all of this, if it appears too much, you just have to resign yourself to the fact that you don't know what's going to happen. Nobody can truly know everything that's going to happen in the future. Nobody can truly prepare themselves for every eventuality and every negative scenario. And nobody can truly run from anything forever. It's not possible to keep your eyes down for too long because take, keeping your eyes down that actually takes energy from you as an ENFP. Hiding in your roots and what feels safe for you is always going to bore you, drain you, steal your energy, steal your passion, steal your motivation. It's going to make you less than what you are. And it's also going to be a very high burden to carry something stressful, something that is really going to feel worse than taking the chance. Really, hiding in sensing introversion in the ISTJ Guardian uh, can be uh, one of the most the worst aspects of life for an ENFP. And the only way out of it is to rise and to be brave and to follow your intuition, to follow your feeling, to follow your passion and your motivation. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you relate to it. If you do, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you find it, uh, if you like this concept, feel free to tell me. If you don't like it, tell me as well. And if you haven't already, have you sh check out my Patreon page. I will link it down below. Thank you all for watching this video.